right? Is it that these people are invaders, or is it that we should see this as, James pointed out, as a more compassionate, um, this is about humanitarian process, not about MS-13 and ISIS. But so, they've used up their compassion card, okay? They just, and they've used up their racist card, is what I'm saying. And I presume you're gonna disagree with me on this, but you've been calling people racist for so many cycles now that it's just lost its, it's lost its impact, and it's, in fact, it's aggravated people. The kind of Democrats you guys are talking about that would be victorious are, this is how normal people think again, results-oriented, okay? That you have to have something to show. Our dear friend Rahm, who is no conservative, right, but he's in Chicago, every time I turn around, I said, you sound like me, balancing the budget. Like, when you're a governor or some closer to the, uh, the state legislative things, you can see those people have to perform. They have to, they're held accountable. They are people, they have to show results like we don't have to. That's a whole different mindset from singing the Kumbaya song that, that you want to hear. And it, it, it's, I, I think you're having an internal conflict, and we're, we're already past this. I think you also have an, uh, no polite way to say that, a geriatric prop problem. Do you know, like, we don't tweet or Facebook or any, we're too old. I don't know, he's ADHD and I don't get it. Like, if you're over 30 <laughs> and you have a glass of wine at night, you shouldn't have a Twitter account. Jen, it's always, <laughs> always tweeting away. Like, do you think Joe Biden is Mr. Yeah. And that's why Trump is, <laughs> Trump is like he is speaking beyond. Right. It's like we think it's vulgar because he's speaking to all kind. Of, he's speaking to this information age generation that we don't. We kind of get because we both work in colleges, but it's a whole different kind of mindset. That's that. Okay, go. Yep. 